Well, I'm uh, Lise Finley, an artist based in Banff, Alberta. I'm born and raised here, and I have my studio practice here. I didn't even realize that war art was a separate category of art. I really didn't feel like I had a connection with war and conflict, but to create work in response to the exhibition itself, rather than creating work that was specifically about war and conflict, was a great entry point for me as an artist. It's difficult to describe my artistic style because I work in a way that's really process-driven. The materials that I work with always reflect back to the idea behind the work. Because I want all of the elements, the materials that I'm working with, the idea, and the techniques I use to create the work to all speak to each other. It's important for me to create work that is meaningful on multiple levels. The process for making these sculptures is quite laborious. It starts with selecting the material that reflects the ideas behind the work and then deconstructing that material to create something that is transparent and takes an ordinary material and transforms it into something unique in a fiber sculpture. I chose work that I, that I felt really was inspiring to me or spoke to me or told a very interesting story. Sometimes it was the artwork itself that spoke to me, sometimes the, you know, the artist's technique, the colors used, but at other times it was the object itself that spoke to me. I'm hoping that by recreating objects that I find within the artwork throughout the exhibition, that at the end of it, people will be see my work and feel a deeper connection to not only what they've seen in the exhibition, but also with war and conflict more generally.